welcome to this lesson and to find the domain and range of a parabola all you need to do is find the set of x values that belong to the graph which is the domain and the set of y values that belong to the graph which is the range and as long as the graph is continuous which means there's no breaks in the graph so in other words if you put your pencil on one end of the graph you wouldn't lift your pencil off the graph until you got to the other end of the graph so this is a continuous graph as long as it's continuous all you have to do is find the lowest x and y value and the highest x and y value to find the domain and range so this point here has the coordinates minus three and two and a half and the first one always being the x coordinate the second one always being the y coordinate that means that the lowest x value on this graph is in fact minus three so there's the first part of the domain so minus 3 and the highest x value is the x value at this point which happens to be 6 and once again first value in an ordered pair like this is the x value and the second one is the y value and that value there the x value is 6 an open circle like this means that the x and y values are not included or that point is actually not included on the graph so it has a round bracket and a colored in circle on the end of a graph here means that you are including both of those x and y values so there's the domain the x values on the graph go from minus 3 to 6 and to find the range all you have to do for that is find the lowest x value whoops the lowest y value and it's not actually this one here it's this value down here and once again x coming first y coming second so it's quite clear that the lowest value on that graph the lowest y value is minus 2 and that point is actually included because it's actually on the graph and so that means that that's a square bracket and the highest y value is at this point here and that happens to be 5 so minus 2 to 5 is the range of that graph and if you're not actually given the graph but you're given the rule or the function then the best thing to do to find the domain and range is to sketch it as it happens you've been given this graph and it's uh, fairly quick and easy to find the domain and range and this is how you do it so that's about it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next one